This is part one of a few clips from his sermon being preached by one of my favorite pastors. Uh, it is called The Dividing Christ and it talks about how God is a God of division and it is based on Luke chapter 12 verse 49 through 53 and I warn you ahead of time if you're used to listening to preaching by Joel Osteen or Robert Schuller if you like that type of preaching I warn you you will probably not like this sermon uh, so I would suggest that you would just click the back button and not even waste your time listening to this but for other people if you like good old-fashioned preaching the way they used to preach back in the day then you will probably enjoy this sermon I want to minister for a few minutes tonight on a dividing Jesus a dividing Christ a dividing the Lord a Lord that divides he says in verse 49 of Luke chapter 12 he says it very clear and he says it very simple a Jesus that nobody knows about a Jesus that ain't nobody seen in the last 50 years in the last 60 years ain't nobody seen it the messages of prosperity and get what you want and get more and get this and get that has long forsaken those old fiery messages that was preached by great men of God inside tents when they preached from the title that God is a killer they don't know that God no more. Jesus is a divider. I don't want you to understand that. Jesus is a divider. Jesus came to divide. Jesus came to draw a line in the sand. And Jesus was never under the impression that He was going to win them all. Amen. He said here in verse 49 of Luke chapter 12, He said, I'm come to send fire on the earth. Jesus came to catch you on fire. Amen. It wasn't going to be business as usual. Jesus says, suppose I've come to send peace on earth. I tell you, nay. It means nay. It means no. It means no. The answer is no. You have supposed and assumed it wrongly. I've not come to send peace on earth, but I've come to send fire on the earth. Suppose you have come to send peace on the earth. I tell you, nay. No, no, no. What part of no is it you can't? What part of nay is it you can't understand? Suppose ye I come to send peace on the earth? Nay. Jesus, no, he didn't. Somebody didn't answer for it. Jesus said, no, 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 no. Peacemaker Jesus, no. Jesus, you a peacemaker. Jesus said, no. Jesus, so thou loving, loving peace are going to bring peace and unity to all religions. Jesus said, no. Multicultural Jesus. Multi-faith Jesus come to get us all together and make us live in harmony. Jesus said no. Part of nay is that you can't understand. Part of nay is that the professors can't understand. Suppose ye I'm come to give peace on the earth, I tell you nay, but rather division. Did he say that? No, I come premeditatively for the purpose to divide. See, if you ain't got a divide in Christ living inside you, you ain't got the Jesus of the Bible living in you. You got something living in you called Jesus. You call any devil Jesus you want to call. You name there might be a million devils called Jesus. All you gotta do is cross the Mexican border over there and you find a lot of Jesuses. Hey Zeus. You find a lot of them, brother. But if it ain't the Jesus of the Bible. It's a devil named Jesus. There's a devil named Jesus ruling in most of the churches. There's a devil named Jesus ruling in the hearts of most men today. There's a Jesus that's living and dominating the church world right now that's calling for world harmony. Jesus said no. How you got the Jesus in the Bible inside you? And he said no and you saying yeah. If he was in you, he'd be saying no. If he was in you, he'd say no to your to your world order and your ecumenical movement. And you're hooking up with this and hooking up with that. God is a God of division. He said, I come to divide. And not only did he say, I come to divide this nation from that nation, he said, I come to divide a daddy against his son, a son against his daddy. Jesus ain't concerned about your home. 
He's concerned about your soul and it's serving Him. If you got to lose your wife to serve Him, Jesus ain't worried about that. you got to lose your husband to serve Him, He ain't worried about that. you got to walk off from children, homes, and land. He ain't worried about that. He upsets your apple cart and you get worried about it. My life and my home and my this and my that, He ain't worried about it. He said, I come to divide it. Whatever God divides, let it be divided. You can't bring into unity what He divided, and you can't make live what He's killing. Come on, right now. That's a gospel of Jesus Christ you're listening to. Amen. Well, I come to send peace on earth. I tell you, nay, but rather division. That's what I come to do. I come to do it. You read with that with me, Angie said. That's what I come to do. It ain't no accident I came. For from henceforth there should be five in one house divided, three against two and two against three. A father should be divided against his son and I came to do it. Your father-son relationship is secondary to the Lord. If the boy's going to hell, God said, Daddy, don't go with him. Cast him out as profane. Put the boot on him. Hallelujah. You heard about what they did in Rome, didn't you? You heard about what they done to the Christians in Rome, didn't you? Legal too. Open season. Find you a Christian and kill them. Feed them to a lion and let everybody make sport of them. You know what gave them the legal right to do that? Because the church was strong and it was right. It wasn't pablum pushers. I said it wasn't pablum pushers. No, church was on fire back then. And the past. I'm against the whole world if it's against me. I ain't coddling this mess. I ain't bowing down to it and I ain't serving it. If it's against me, I'm against it. What was written on the legal tablets of Rome and what gave them legal rights to persecute Christians was that they was destructive to the home. Yet the Lord was dividing them, wasn't he? He's going in a house. He's going in a house that otherwise been together. And the fire went in there and it wasn't ever the same again. And Jesus said, I came to do it. Amen. Ain't no accident. I didn't accidentally break you up. I didn't accidentally bring light into this thing. I done told you one time, just because you serve God, I, I, just because you serve God don't mean your honky-tonk husband or your whiskey-drinking wife or your dope-smoking brother. It don't mean he's going to get saved. It means they might be all hell and all war break loose in your house because Jesus come in. He said, I come to divide you and done it on purpose. I came to do it. I came to set this thing on fire. I came to stir it up. I came to shake it. I come to turn it ever which way but loose. Whenever I'm here, you're going to know I'm here. Whenever I'm in it, you're going to know I'm in it. Whenever I show up, you're going to know I've showed up. Because there's going to be division. And there's going to be fire. And they're going to be burning. And they're going to be fighting. And they're going to be war because men love darkness. And I'm the light of the world, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. And I come to do it. I come to mess your school up. I come to mess your church up. I come to mess your synagogue up. I come to mess your professors up. I come to mess your house up. I come to set it barren of father against a son. I come to set it barren of son against a father. A father-in-law against his son. Son-in-law against a father. Mothers against daughters and daughters against mother. He that loveth father and mother more than me is not worthy of me, Jesus said. Right. But I'm trying to quit this evening, and I will, sooner or later. The father should be divided against the son, son against the father, and mother against the daughter, and the daughter against the mother, and the mother-in-law against the daughter-in-law, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And Jesus said in another place, and a man's foes should be they of his own household. Yes, sir, Jesus didn't come to save your family. He came to save you. Jesus didn't come to save your house. Jesus came to save you. Amen. Jesus never, never, never said he's going to win them all. The fact is, he told us in his word that he's going to lose more than one. He said, for the gate leading into life is a narrow gate. Ain't but few going to follow me, Jesus said. He said, but the 
gate that leads into hell's broad gate. Many of them are going in. I'm going to lose more than the win, Jesus said. Because I ain't no pablum pusher. This ain't, this, ain't, this ain't no psychology of 101. More is going to hell and going to heaven. That's what the book says. Because Jesus is a fire to come to divide. You know what heaven and hell is all about? Heaven and hell is all about division. Hey, some the Lord ain't going to have. 